Step 2. Sharing a Project In this step, we will share the project. In other words, we will enable the project for simultaneous work. In this way, multiple team members will be able to continue the design on the same project in complete harmony. We will also become familiar with project categories and project backup options as well. Start Graphisoft ArchiCAD on your computer. At the Start ArchiCAD dialog, select the Open a Project option. Make sure the Browse for Solo Project option is selected and click the Browse button. Open the Collaboration ITG Chapter 2 ArchiCAD project file. With the file opened, activate the Share option from the File New menu. This will open the Login dialog. Select the name of your local computer from the list at the Choose BIM Server to Work On field. Fill out the Username and Password fields with the Administrator account details you created in the previous step. Remember, this is the same administrator username and password we provided when we set up the BIM server earlier. Click OK to proceed to the Share This Project dialog. In the title bar of the dialog, you can see the name of the current user in parentheses. In the Server field, you can see the name of your local computer. In the Project Name field, Enter MS Building TW. This will be the name by which we will identify this teamwork project. Click in the Category field and select New Category from the list. This brings up the Create Project Category dialog. Categories can be based on any characteristic of the projects. They can indicate the type of the project or refer to their actual design phase. These categories are useful if there are several shared teamwork projects running simultaneously on the same server. These categories will help to differentiate between the projects. Enter construction documentation in the category name field. We will use the construction documentation phase as a category in our case. Click the create button to proceed. Keep the Enable Access of All Users of Server with their default roles radio button selected. This option can be used to define roles and users that are specific to this project. Also, keep the Replace Linked Libraries with Server Libraries automatically radio button selected. This option will upload or copy all currently linked libraries to the BIM server. These server libraries can be loaded to other projects later. More details will be provided for both options in Chapter 5 of this guide. Click the Backup Options button to open the Project Backup Schedule dialog. In the Keep Last field, we set the number of backups to be kept. Backups older than this value will be discarded. In the Run Every field, we can specify the time intervals when backups are created. Let's keep these settings for now without any changes and click the Cancel button to leave this dialog. Finally, click the Share button to share the project. The Processing Progress window displays the progress of the sharing process. During sharing, the program first assembles the teamwork project and uploads it to the server. Afterwards, it downloads the available shared information to the local computer. In our case, the server and client is the same machine, so this process should take only one or two minutes. In cases of sharing over the Internet and large file sizes, this initial sharing process may take a bit more time. Remember, the project sharing process must be completed only once at the beginning of the job. After the project has been shared, 
team members can start working on the shared teamwork project. 